What is cumulative causation? It is the theory in which every action causes a chain reaction. An example of a chain reaction would be the bottom card from a house of cards being pulled out from under it, causing all the cards on top to collapse. Now before we get into detail, we need to know the answer to one question. How was this theory created? It was created by economist Gunnar Myrdal in 1956, and it is said to be based off of the multiplier theory. The multiplier theory implies that each event causes a chain reaction of events. For example, if someone buys a house, the previous owner must buy a new house for themselves, and the previous owner of that house will also need a new house, and the cycle continues. This is most commonly used in terms of money, yet this is not always the case. Causations can be forward or backwards. An example of a forward causation is a new business opening, and then there are more jobs in that area. An example of a backwards causation is a business closing, so then there are less jobs available, and therefore less income for local businesses.